Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Raw. Your host, Deju, here with you, and this program is brought to you by THQ. Now, from the last match, uh, we are just 20 minutes removed from the last match, and uh, we have the first of two uh, championship matches that we're going to have. And, the fir and let's introduce the champion first and foremost. From Brooklyn, New York, weighing in at 249 pounds, Adam Sandler, the Intercontinental Champion, Adam Sandler. So, yes, Adam Sandler was in the Rumble match earlier. Now, had he finished in first, meaning had he won the match, it would have been a champion versus champion match. Uh, however, uh, if he had finished in second, he would have simply had the night off. But now he's going to have to defend that championship against the runner-up against this guy. Yoshi, and I'll tell you one thing, and Yoshi is coming off a victory uh, of Paul White. I mean, Paul White, uh, if you remember, Paul White was the, the giant, that giant man that took out some of the biggest and some of the baddest men that you could possibly get. I mean, he took a couple of guys out, but when he tried to take out Shawn Michaels, Shawn Michaels just outsmarted the big brute, and it sent... It, 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 he, by he, I mean Shawn Michaels used Paul White's own momentum against him, which sent Paul White over the top rope, and all Shawn Michaels had to do was knock him off the apron and onto the floor, and that was it for him. And as for Yoshi, I mean, Yoshi drew the second best number that you can get in the Royal Rumble, which was good enough for him to get this match against Adam Sandler, and... I mean, sometimes it's luck It's better to be lucky than good, but... At this time, luck goes out the window. Because, well... This is one of those matches where you, you really have to work hard for it. Because I, you know, I'm not worried about a Adam Sandler, because Adam Sandler will do just about anything under his own power within the rules to win a match. And, you know, speaking of this match, uh, this match is a first blood match, and the rules are very simple. To win the match is to make your opponent bleed. There are no pinfalls, no submissions, no countouts, and you cannot be disqualified. And you can fight outside the ring as much as you like. But the objective is to get your opponent to bleed. And as far as Yoshi's concerned, I mean, Yoshi has been busted open more times than one would like to count. So we'll find out if Yoshi can make Adam Sandler bleed. I mean, it's very tough to do it. It's very tough to do against Adam Sandler because, well, Adam Sandler's one tough son of a gun. So really, the man that wins this match is going to be the one that is relentless and will do... Basically, whoever gets the advantage early on will be the one to set the table for causing one their opponent to bleed. So, you know, that's what's going to come down. It's going to come down to execution, but also how relentless one can be. It, it goes to the guy that is most relentless, not the most resilient. I mean, you can be resilient all you want, but... At some point, you're going to break. It, it's going to come down to the guy that, you know, one, once they have the advantage, are they going to take advantage and ultimately try to win the match? That's what it's going to come down to. And Adam Sandler knows full well what he needs to do. Yoshi, I mean, Yoshi's been in this sport for... 
less than three months. And Adam Sandler has been in this sport for years. You know, I mean, he, he was a rookie back in 1994, so... And, I mean, he has a few years of experience. In addition to the fact that he was, you know, fighting in uh, Happy Gilmore against uh, Bob Barker. I mean, that's pretty much how that rivalry became... How that rivalry came to be, I should say. And then a dropkick onto Adam Sandler. So Yoshi is going to have to come up with something because, as, as I mean, as good as Yoshi is, he cannot try to match. Uh, you know, he he cannot try to outfight Adam Sandler. That's just not going to work. And Adam Sandler can wrestle with the best of them as well. As Adam Sandler just goes right to the face, but. Uh, nothing happened there. And Adam Sandler, Snake Eyes. Uh, basically, that's the name of the move in which you pick up your opponent and slam his head first into the turnbuckle in that fashion. Uh, that's the that's why it's called Snake Eyes, and I apologize for that. Just minor technical difficulties on my part. I mean, you would think, being that this is close to 2000, the the year 2000, I mean, that we would have these issues fixed. You know, sometimes it's sometimes that happens. You know. Wow! Nice uh, hip toss onto Adam Sandler. Let me get a little drink of water. Hold on. <sighs> ah, so good. Wow, I've never seen that kicking combination before. <clears throat> but that was pretty good on the part of uh, Yoshi. And a nice uppercut. And then Yoshi just steps all over him. And now Yoshi's going to pound away on Adam Sandler, and that's exactly what he needs to do. See, that's the relentlessness that one needs to show, especially in a first blood match. I mean, you want to be aggressive, but you cannot be too over-aggressive, because then your opponent can counter that, and then it's you that's in trouble. And then Yoshi again just steps all over him. And a nice... Uh, wow, that was just a powerful spine buster. I mean, it happened so fast I couldn't keep up with it. I apologize. And then a massive headbutt onto Adam Sandler. I mean, that would... Whoa, nice kicking combination by Yoshi. And now Adam Sandler is in deep trouble now. But what's Yoshi going to do? absolutely nothing because he was just being an idiot standing there for no reason and Adam Sandler just hit the famouser ooh and then a knee right to the face but again you gotta make your opponent bleed side effect side effect I mean that's not gonna do it but that could weaken him just a little bit another spine buster another one handed spine buster Oh, now it's Luigi, or not Luigi, sorry, Yoshi that's in trouble. And, what? Well, I'll tell you one thing, he just used Yoshi's own move against him, and it's called Shell Shocked. I mean, he called it the Egg Smasher one at one time, but uh, he's renamed it the Shell Shock. And Adam Sandler just used it on Yoshi. Although I think that might have actually pissed off Yoshi now. A corkscrew neckbreaker onto Adam Sandler. I mean, Adam Sandler is in a much tougher fight than he anticipated. And uh oh, wait a minute. Look at Adam Sandler. Man, I'm telling you, he, he's like, it's like Muhammad Ali all over again. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. I 
mean, this is a hard-fought match. I mean, I have to say, whoever wins this is going to have uh, Sorry about that. Yeah, but we do pay her well. Uh, anyway, back to the match. As now, wait a minute. What's Yoshi doing? Uh, wow! Epic fail on the part of Yoshi. That was just that. Was, that was just so stupid, man. And wait, what happened? Wow, Yoshi just got busted open off of a, a face buster? Well, I mean, it could happen, and it did. As Adam Sandler has defended the Intercontinental Championship against Yoshi. And, you know, Yoshi did everything he could to win, but it was not enough. Not enough against Adam Sandler. I mean, Adam... He knew what he needed to do to win this match. And again, look at Yoshi. I mean, it's like he's a bloody mess now. I, I guess the, well, I mean, the, the course of the match just took its toll on him. And it, it, it was only a matter of time before Adam Sandler was able to hit a face buster on Yoshi and just bust him open and bloody him up. But folks, uh, stay stay tuned for the next match. It's going to feature the Tag Team Championships of the World. Stay tuned.